In this video, you'll learn how to make TikTok videos quickly and easily. We'll share our number one TikTok editing app and the step-by-step -step process for editing TikToks so you can create awesome videos that get maximum TikTok views. Hey, I'm that British girl, Jordana Grace from TikTok, or the Tic Tac as my mum calls it. And I filmed over 2000 videos within the TikTok app, just using an iPhone. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make TikToks like a pro while using my trusty iPhone. But don't worry, Androids, the process is pretty much the same. And I'll be sharing some of my best tips along the way. Let's go. So there are two ways of making reels. Using the TikTok app itself for filming and editing or within the app and using editing software or apps to level up your content creation game. First of all, remember that the layout of TikTok may be different depending on the region that you're in or what update of the app you have. So let's get started. So this is the TikTok interface and all the different options we have before filming a TikTok. So at the top of the screen, you have add sound. So if you click on that, you can add a sound to your video. So on the sound screen, you have different options for songs that have been recommended for me, favorites that I've saved, loads of different options and sounds that I've imported from a video or I've imported my own sound. Or at the top, you can search for any type of popular song or trending song. But because of licensing, and if I film a video using a sound, you won't be able to hear me. I'm not gonna use sound in this video. And personally, unless I'm doing a specific trending video, I never add sound until the editing part at the end. At the top, we have the X, which you can press if you just wanna get out of making a TikTok. And over here, we have the sidebar. Of course, at the top, you have the option where you can flip the screen. This is what you can see in the rear camera, and this is what you can see in the front camera. And then you have flash, you can have flash on or off. And here we have the timer, which is a great feature to use. This button basically just means a retouch. It basically just gives you a little bit of a glam glow. But I'll take that off. This feature is your filters. So if you select this, you can choose all the different filters you can film in. But I'm just gonna go all natural. And this is the timer feature. Now this isn't a feature that I like to use a lot. Say you wanna film a video in three times the speed. Let's say that's an example. So this is me filming in three times speed. So let's see what it looks like. So I don't personally use the speed filter when making my TikToks, but it is a popular filter that a lot of people do use. I'm gonna set mine back to normal. So at the bottom of the screen, we have the effects function, which I'll show you in a minute. We have how long you film the video for. We have the record button. And as you can see, the little red bar there, when you film the entire video, it will fill the entire space. You have your delete button, which means that you can just delete the last clip you did. And the red button means that you're happy with the video and you're gonna go into the next screen, which is the edit screen. So I'm gonna delete the last clip I did. And I'm gonna do my regular intro. Things they should tell you before filming a TikTok. Here are all my best tips. And before we continue, here is my favorite TikTok tip. So you know when you see people film in and out, like zoom in and out like this? To tell you before filming a TikTok, here are all my best tips. So if you wanna learn how to do the zoom in and out trick, instead of pressing the record button on and off to record, you wanna hold it. So you hold the red button, goes in and goes out, goes in, goes out. And once released, it stops recording. You're welcome. Before you start filming, you can also control and set the zoom by just using two fingers and you can just obviously set it to be really close or really far away. So when I'm filming a TikTok, what I do to save time is once I filmed a clip, I press the red tick button at the bottom below and check my video to see if I'm happy with it so far. So for example, I'm gonna press this red button here. I'm gonna click on it. Things they should tell you before filming a TikTok. Here are all my best tips. So I'm basically reviewing the video as I go along and I really recommend doing that after each clip because if you're happy with each clip, once you film the TikTok, you know that you're happy with it and it just saves you editing time. Because at the moment I filmed five clips, but I'm not happy with the second one, which means that I either have to wait till I'm in the editing screen later and replace it or delete all these little clips now and then redo that one. So I really recommend pressing this button and checking each clip as you go. So then by the time you get to the editing screen, you know that you're happy pretty much with the whole video. Because once you're in the editing screen and make changes, you cannot go back and film any more footage. So before we're gonna go into the editing screen, I wanna show you my favorite effect in TikTok and that is green screen. So at the bottom of the screen, I pointed out the effects. Now this is where it gets really interesting. So there's so many effects in TikTok that you can choose from and it does categorize them for you. So I've got my saved um, ones here of all the favorite effects that I've saved. You've got all the effects that are trending right now. Um, ones that you can create, any new ones, tools, TikTok's favorite, community favorites, games, editing effects. And my favorite effects are green screen because some of my most viral videos have been green screen videos. And I think people love green screen videos is because if I'm standing here with green screen behind me, people are like, oh, what is she talking about? What is she gonna bring up? It's already created intrigue at the beginning of your video. So you can do green screen with a video, but I think it's a bit more fiddly. I prefer to do green screen as a picture. 
So if I select that, I can choose any picture that I like that goes behind me. And if I press this plus button here, I can choose any picture that I like. So say for example, here's me. I'm looking super cute in the background, holding my mug of coffee, you know, having a great time. So now you've got the green screen effect up. This is where it gets interesting. So here it's showing you that I can adjust me on screen. Because if I'm taking up the whole screen, that's one thing. Like I could start the video with like, things they should tell you before filming a TikTok. And you're like, oh, I can't see behind what's happening. But if you do the entire video like this, I'm gonna have to go out the screen and people can't see me. So sometimes I film the first intro clip with me taking up the screen. And then the next clip, just use your two fingers on the screen and you shrink yourself down. So now people can see me on screen talking to camera, but they can also see what I'm talking about. So it's like I'm doing this like little presentation. Honestly, green screen effects, check them out. I have so many viral videos. I really recommend using this effect. So now I just film as I did before and I hold the red button at the bottom. I'm just like, hey, here's me. And I'm zooming in and out, making a video about TikTok. Or I just press a red button once and then just talk. Or I can use a timer feature over there and set a timer before I start talking. And if I wanna take any effects off, I just press this button here and it will take off any effects that I have. Now you filmed all your clips, it's time to edit. So to get to the editing screen, we're gonna press this red button at the bottom, this little tick, and now you can preview your video. Here are all my best tips. So now we're in the preview interface of TikTok. This is everything you need to know to edit your TikTok and make it look amazing. So on the interface, again, at the top, you can select add sound. So you can have a sound behind your video. And what I recommend, if I add a sound into my video, say for example, I'm gonna choose this one that I do all the time, go to volume at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And I always have my added volume quite low. You don't want the background sound to be really overwhelming. So I just have it down quite low, around about eight or nine. But because of licensing issues, I'm not gonna have any sound here. And something to keep in mind of, if you are using music, while it may be fine to use it within TikTok, if you wanna take that TikTok and post it on other social media platforms, you may not have the licensing to do it. So if you wanna make sure that you don't get caught out, you can check out platforms like Epidemic Sound or Artlist so you can get music in your videos that you have permission for. So at the top of the screen, you have Add Sound and at the side of the screen, you have all your extra features. So at the very top, you have your settings and this is where you can choose who can watch my video from only me, friends to everyone. And because I have a social media empire, I want everyone to see my video and I also want to allow comments because you want people to comment on your video, you want them to interact and content disclosure is to let others know that you're promoting a brand, product or service, but we're not doing that in this video. Now this is a feature I don't use, but it's basically a auto cutting template to music, but this is where you can choose templates for your video, but I just think it's a lot to look at and I'm not a fan of it. And the next part is where you can add text. Now this is great if you wanna add a title to your screen that isn't a part of your auto captions. For example, how to make TikToks. And I'm gonna make that huge, there we go. I'm gonna have that at the beginning of the screen. There we go, brilliant. And then you've got stickers that you can use like hashtags and mentions and polls. You have effects that you can use like make it all sparkly or grids. And you can also change the length of how long that's on for. But I don't wanna have any effects on this video. You also have filters that you can use. So a lot of these effects that you have on this preview screen now is what you had when you started filming. But you can add them in again later. I always tend to add them in later. And then you have your prompt button where you can add a prompt where other people can add theirs and you see this on other social media platforms it's just another way of getting people to interact with your TikTok and then you have your microphone and this is where you can change your voice so you've probably seen on TikTok there are a lot of videos that use trending voice effects for example you can narrate an entire video but if you're a bit subconscious about using your voice you can just choose another voice and you can do a voiceover in that voice. So it's actually a really fun feature. And sometimes if I'm not feeling up for narrating a video, I use an audio voice. So while you have everything on the side screen, I tend to do any adjustments in the edit screen. So at the bottom of the screen, the left-hand side, you go to edit. And again, you have all these features that you had in the preview screen here. So this is the title that I made earlier, but I don't want it for the whole video. So I just select it and then I just change it to the length I just want it for that main first screen here. And this is where you can change the order of your clips. You can move them around. I know when I was recording, I made a lot of mistakes. So I'm just going to delete that. You can also have a video where you do the voice effects. I'm going to turn up my volume now so you can hear that. And I'm going to change it to the trickster voice. So it's gonna upload that voice to just that clip. I'm just gonna wait for that to go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So now listen to this clip. This is me using a voice effect. Things they should tell you before filming a TikTok. Here are all my best tips. 
So that's how you can add a voice effect to individual clips or to the whole video. It is a fun feature to use and sometimes it just makes the video a bit more engaging. I don't tend to use the voice effects as much, but they are good features to use and they have been used in a lot of viral videos. So at the bottom of the screen, you have quite a few options. You have sound sync. So even though I've got certain cuts in my video, if I use sound sync, it will adjust my clips to the beat of that song. So I don't use that feature a lot because I don't tend to make music trending songs, but if you do, it's something to look at. You've also got edit, so I can trim my clips to how I want them. You also have sound. We can add a sound, add a voiceover or add a sound effect. So adding sounds, we can add a song. A voiceover is where you can record a voiceover. So here's behind the scenes of filming a TikTok. So if you're doing a vlog, voiceover is great because you can just add all your clips in and then record the voiceover to the clips. Or if you miss anything, you just add it in. And once you've selected that, you can also, again, add that voice effect to it. I'm going to delete that. You've also got text. Now this is where you can add text, add captions and add a text template. So I'm gonna talk about the text template in a minute, but if you add captions, it's going to process your audio and create auto captions. And they're about 80 to 90% correct. So I always like to make sure that I go through and check that all the spelling's right, that everything looks great. And then you can bulk edit to make sure everything looks good. I can add in sentence breaks when I want them to and make sure that everything looks great. And then you can also adjust the looks of how the font is. So if I press a little A here, I can change the font, the style, the color. I have so many options of how I can adjust my font in here. And I can also change uh, like British English to American English to Dutch to Spanish. There's quite a few options in TikTok. So I'm gonna save that. So one thing to note is when you're using auto captions, you need to have it in a place that looks good across the whole video because if you move it on one screen, it will change it on the next screen. So you can't adjust it for individual clips of where the auto captions should be. If you wanna have the captions in a different place per clip, then you just need to add the text separately. And then you have effects, which you can add in an overlay, which is really great because if I want to add in a clip, for example, I'm gonna add in this one. I can add in a clip and I can put it anywhere on the video. It's overlay is a great feature because if you didn't use green screen when you were filming your video, you can use the overlay feature to add in more visuals to your videos. But did you know you can take your TikTok video and edit directly in an editing app? So TikTok is actually directly related to an editing app called CapCut, which I use all the time with my videos. CapCut, which is an amazing all-in-one editing app for both Android and iOS. I sadly don't have that feature. However, I have found a loophole. So under text, if you select text template, it will take your video to CapCut. And now in CapCut, you can do so much more. Font, transitions, green screen, overlays. You're welcome. So say we've edited our font in CapCut. Now we're back on the TikTok screen. You're really happy with the video. Now we're going to post. So we're gonna press save in the top right hand corner. So at the bottom, you click next. So another tip is when you've done all the edits on your video is when you're in this preview screen before you click next is to press the download button because now you have a watermark free version of your finished video and you don't have to download it later or do all that faff, you can do it right here, right now. So I really recommend downloading the video before you post it. So now you're in the post interface. So this is where you add in your keywords for your video, anything you want people to know. So I'm gonna add in my description, how to make TikTok videos. I'm gonna also add in hashtags, so hashtag TikTok tips, like advice, little things like that. But you can also press the at mention and I can add in people like, say for example, Justin Brown from Primal Video. Or what's an amazing function, if you press videos, you can link to a video you've already done. So I'm gonna add in this video, which has got like 90,000 views when I'm filming this video, which means that if people like this video, they're more likely to check out this next video and that video will get more views. So it's like you're creating a series of videos because you can link them all together. And then the right hand side where you see my picture, you select select cover because this is really important. This is when you're gonna choose the thumbnail image for your video. So say I wanna have this one and it's gonna be like a one second loop, like boomerang. And I really recommend choosing a thumbnail title. Now you don't get to really do this on other social media platforms, but I use it because when you look at my grid, I create titles so people know what that video is about. So it means they're more likely to check out that video instead of being annoyed that they can't find what I was talking about. I personally have picked one TikTok style title and I just kept it. It's very simple, the range of TikTok titles that they have. I say that really quickly, TikTok titles, TikTok titles, but it's better to have a title than not. So I'm gonna choose how to make TikToks. So now I can change what that is on screen. I press save. So when people look at my TikTok profile, they look at my videos in the grid, they're gonna see my beautiful face 
and the title, How to Make TikTok, so they know what that video is about. I really recommend doing that with all your videos. Keep it consistent, keep it clean looking, and keep it simple. This is also where you can tag people like I've just done with Justin. You can add a location like I'll do Australia. You can disclose brands and ads that you've worked with. This way you can add a link. So in this video, I use the green screen effect and trickster voice, so it means when people look at my video, they know what effects I've used, which is handy. So if you're looking at a video and think, I like that effect, if they've made it in TikTok, you'll most likely be able to find out what that effect is. I can also add in a link for a product or link this video to a live event. Like the settings you had before, this is where you can choose who can watch it, like only me, friends, or everyone. I'm gonna choose everyone. And under more options, this is when you can toggle specific things like allow comments, allow duets, allow stitches, allow stickers. I really recommend if you wanna get people to watch your videos and to interact with them, if you wanna create viral videos, I recommend having all these toggled on because the more people that duet and stitch and comment on your video, it means that TikTok knows that people like that video. People are watching it, they're interacting with it. And the more people that interact, the more views it gets, the more your video is seen, and the more viral it can become. You can add it to a playlist. Now I really recommend adding any videos to a playlist. Like you could just have random day to day, you could have blogs, you could have traveling to Australia tips, traveling to London tips, but add it to a playlist. If people look at that playlist, they're more likely to go through all those videos because they know what it's about. And then you can save the video to device, but I believe at this time it does save with watermark, so I don't do that. I download it in the preview screen once I've made all the edits, so I have it without the watermark. And audience controls, if it's not meant to be for kids under 18, that's where you do this. This is everything I do when I'm ready to post a video. So at the bottom, I just press post and it goes. If I'm not ready to post it, I just press drafts. And remember, once you have posted, you now have seven days to edit the description or hashtags. After that, you are unable to make any changes. So keep that in mind. So we're not just limited to using the TikTok app to create videos to post. You can create videos in other software or apps too. Then upload that video into the TikTok app. This is just gonna give you much more control over what you're creating and also give you the ability to add some more pro looking titles and effect and or let you create higher quality videos too. So on your phone, you could shoot your videos using the built-in camera app or even more pro apps like Filmic Pro. And then you can use the editing apps to edit it down and pull it all together. So I personally use an app called CapCut to create my videos so they look a lot better quality. So what is CapCut? Well, it's an all-in-one editing app and it's got features like adjusting audio levels, adding background music, customizing font, removing noise, applying sound effects. It's just awesome and I use it for most of my videos. Now there is a pro version, but I do everything with the free version. Now you're up to speed on how to create amazing looking TikTok videos. Also, please don't forget to go over there and follow me. And if you wanna learn how to use CapCut, we've got a full tutorial linked on screen. And as always, there's a bunch of videos and resources and tools to help you in the description below. And there's also a link to my channel on screen if you wanna check it out. I'd love to see you over there. I'm that British girl, Jordana Grace, and I'll see you in the next one.